Welcome to What the Fuck is in the Box, the what show the where fuck? Bill is going to do some voice exercises, Bill. Me, 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 me. Ooh, he's very good at these. That hurt. Today I have with me Bill. Hi. And I'm Drew, in case you haven't seen the show before. That's Drew. That's me. All the time. I'm stuck like this. Sad but true. That's Drew. Bill, what did you bring today? Uh, today I brought the Samsung Q HW Q800A soundbar with subwoofer. It's a terrific unit. It's mostly impressive because the HW is not on the box. He was right. reading the box, but I saw him stop himself. Right. And remember the HW and the part number. I studied last night. That was very good. That's briefly. Very good. Yeah, so. Ever so uh, briefly. <laughs> soundbar subwoofers um, becoming a much bigger place in, very, our, in our world. Yeah, very um, good. As people still want that, that immersive sound, right? The TVs are getting thinner. Um, the sound is kind of disappearing from the TVs. True. So items like this are becoming more popular. Uh, obviously you also have a lot of different homes that don't allow for a full surround system. So a soundbar and a subwoofer is usually a really, really good comparable um, to great getting for, into that. Great for open floor plans, condos, things like that. Absolutely. See? And if you are a Tetris fan, this box That's was right. made for you. This thing. Look at this thing. If this isn't a Tetris piece, I don't know what is. We should probably It's not open. a Tetris piece. <laughs> Bill, we're going to open this box. Can you do me one favor? Can you clap? All right. I was going to do Genie. Let's get into it. Oh, Genie's fine, too. Let's get into this Jeannie? thing. I could do Genie. Let's get right in there. Oh, yeah. If I cut, oh, that's fantastic. If I cut my finger, this is going to be the reason I shouldn't play with knives. See how I cut away from the body, Bill? That's, that's a full-blown stiletto. Hey, Bobby Wayne. Let's see that. Now that is a real beauty. <laughs> Taught me well, you know, in the warehouse. Is oh, boy. Oh, good Lord. Oh, man. Oh, geez. Oh boy. Oh god, what's this? Oh boy. Oh, there's compartments everywhere, Bill. Oh, oh, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. Woo hoo! I think it's fun to save. And just like that, in seconds, it's right out of the box. You know what I That's mean? Right. It was so easy. It's like magic. Where do we start? You want to do the subwoofer or the soundbar? Where do you uh, want to start? Uh let's start with the soundbar itself. Soundbar itself. Alright, Bill. Why don't you tell me about this and I'll Vanna White it? Did you know, you probably didn't, this actually has eight speakers in it. Did the whole know. system has 330 watts with most of it going to that, but there's 130 watts to the subwoofer or so it claims. Wow. Subwoofer actually thunders. We've heard this. This thing really does thunder yes. pretty good for what it is. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Um, this sound bar is it's kind of hard to tell. Hold it kind of flat. There you go. It's very thin. So if you're going to lay it on the, on like a credenza in front of the TV. Easy to do that, won't block the TV. It also comes with a wall mount, so you can hang it on the wall if you want to. Um, there's a little display, I can't see it from this side, but you know, right there, where, nowhere near where you're at. I'm new to this. Upper management. <laughs> Suckers. So right in here somewhere where you can't see it, there's actually a display that'll show you the sound mode you're in and that kind of stuff. Take your word for it. You'll have to. And this thing actually does every kind of sound field you would want it to do. Yep. So I, Take I see a guess. I sit and written right on it, Dolby Atmos. There you go. Right, right there yeah. on it, DTS. Yeah, DTS X. Oh, DTS X. X, that's right. Um, something is nice to point out, right? Because a lot of sound bars have gone away from this. There are uh, on actual control buttons on the unit. Correct. That's nice. That's a very nice feature for a lot of people when you're Correct. walking by, want to turn it down, don't want to grab the remote. I know it does. There's come. a remote in there. There, see so it? We're going to get into those. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Oh, battery. Let's talk about the subwoofer over here. We'll put it to the side for just a second. So eight inch subwoofer, right? It does a Bluetooth link to the sound bar itself. It is ported. Okay. You can see the driver on this side right here. Uh, 130 watts out of the sub. Get it in a corner, put it next to a coffee table, next to the couch, whatever. ba boom ba. And it's a it's a nice matte look. It right? is. I, it's I a like nice that. Finish. It's a nice finish on it. Um, it is almost like a gunmetal gray, probably more than a black. Uh, the the grill itself looks to be a darker black. Let's mm -hmm. see what accessories we got there. All right. Here You're more than all the goodies. You know what I, I mean? Know. I gotta get into the goodies. Well, I was gonna steal the batteries. <laughs> Never get enough of those. What do you got here, Bill? What's that thing? That's uh, in my house. That's a clicker. Clickers on the fritz. All I want to do is see the end of Guiding Light and it won't click. Click, damn it, click. <laughs> I 
I believe the technical term is remote clicker. That would be your classic remote control. Can we get a close up of that? No? Okay, that's fine. Nobody cares about close ups here. No. Here's batteries. They go in the. All right, now I'm going to ask a serious question. What's know. this? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the I believe that would be the power supply for the subwoofer. There you you can tell by this right I here. So that's I caught right. you off guard there, didn't I? That's a NEMA <laughs> style plug <laughs> that goes on there. That's very good. NEMA. That's very something. good. I'll NEMA, try to figure that out later. NEMA chart so I can look up what plug that is. <laughs> that's what it is. But it's that one. That is the one. Oh, they give you an HDMI cable in here. I've never seen one of those. Before. Now listen to me. Don't. You know. Hmm, they know. They know better. Get, get your, just get yourself a good age. They know better. Right they know better. That, that's the wall bracket. That's, I was trying to get them both out for you so you could do there it. There you go. I got excited. I'm sorry. You got it. No, no it's that been a long time. Perfect. 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 It's been a long time. Uh, but so yes, there's a wall packaging. bracket. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff in here, you know. Just so conceivably, everything you need to make this go is right there in the box. And yes, it does do ARC and E-ARC uh, because it does the Atmos stuff. Um, you want to tell them about Q-Symphony? Yeah, Q-Symphony. Um, that's a really cool feature, really, in the Sam this Samsung. This is legit. It yeah. is. Samsung you family of products. You know, as you mentioned, there's eight speakers in here. Uh, two of those are the Toss speakers for Atmos, which are which are really nice. Um, if you've got yourself a, a space where you've got a hard ceiling above you, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing like this with this drop ceiling, but a hard ceiling above you. That, that Toss speaker actually allows it to ricochet off the ceiling behind the customer to create that Atmos feel. Mm -hmm. um, what's really neat with this is if you have Q-Symphony in your TV, which came out in 2020, uh, was in a few models, it's coming into more and more models as time goes on. So you gotta check your TV to make sure it has Q-Symphony. If it does, what it allows is the sound bar and the TV to sync. And it takes you from an eight speaker array to a 10 speaker array, which is a really cool Get feature. The I know. Back out of here. I know. It uses that, and then it uses adaptive sound. And the reason it does need both is it'll actually use adaptive sound to figure out what type of programming you're watching. Yep. And then it actually changes the way that the speakers are configured. Yep. So you make sure that the voices come where they should come from, the crowd noise in, in a game comes where it comes from, and everything kind of works. has game pro same. mode, too, if you have like the right kind of game player. Game pro mode right. is, a, is a great feature on the Samsung Xbox side. One. Yeah, it helps the refresh rates. Whatever. You know what I mean? you got to have them refresh Switch. Rates. Nintendo Switch. The switches. You do that. You can switch. Chip, yeah, if you yeah, switch person, you, you know what this happens. Yeah. Otherwise, that just made no sense. Does it have that, uh, what's that chick's name that gets on my nerves? Can Alexa. I say chick's name? Alexa. Play something slow on the country music station. Okay, here's what I have for extreme constipation. Yes. Hey. Alexa, turn off the lights. See, someone's lights just turned off. Wouldn't that be annoying? That's the problem with it. But this thing can be Alexa. It can be Alexa, right? Can and be. it does AirPlay, and you can do the little tap trick, you know, where AirPlay you tap two. it. That's tr oh, dose, dose. I don't apply oh, dose. Uh, it does also have Samsung's Space Fit Sound, which um, it, it's really kind of cool. It uses a sonar type technology to map out the room. Correct. And then it configures the speakers based on the layout of the room. Also correct. So you kind of put all you those studied. Speakers, right? I, I watched a video. I studied. You studied. You watched a video. You know what I mean? You watched a video. Reading Rainbow, the more you know. You know what I mean? I love that show. So if you really put all the, the, the technologies together, right? You take Atmos, um, you take the Q-Symphony, the adaptive sound, and then you take the Space Fit sound, and you really have a, a unique system that can work together when you've got the Samsung TV partnered with their soundbar and sub. It all kind of works in harmony. Yep. And um, it is a really beautiful thing. Or Harman Kardon. Harman Kardon. Harman Kardon since That's true. You know, Samsung bought them and now yep. it's got all that audio technology. Speaking of it. things that Samsung bought, smart things. This smart thing also things. works with smart things. It you does. can't keep it out, which actually opens it up to a lot of different control systems. A That's lot of true. people don't use smart things as much as they could. Um, that that installation that UI be, allows be nice. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> daily it's basis. Totally right. <laughs> yeah. But it opens it up to full control to a lot of different uh, control companies. So that's a that's a important piece to, to right. mention. Um, On is, the video side, it is full 4K pass through HDR, so it's got a great video section in it. Um, HDMI, eARC, we already talked yep. about to do yep. the Atmos. Yep. You want to give them the measurements of it? It is actually thir it's it's great to fit with most of the bigger TVs. It's roughly 39 inches wide. You can see it's low profile. It's only about two and a half inches high, and it's actually about four and a half inches deep. So whether you put it flat in front of the TV, most of them the stands will keep it up above it, or if you hang it on the wall below the TV, don't put one over the top of the TV. No, no. 
But to your point, something that a lot of people don't realize, you put a soundbar in front of a TV, you block the IR, right. and the remote stops working, so it is nice to have a low-profile correct um, piece here. So what do we do with these after we open them up? Uh, I think I get to take it home, right? Yeah, they're yours. Oh, that's cool. All right. We're Good meeting. We're Good show. Here. Now, so what you need to do is you need to watch. Yep. You need to that's like. Important. That's also important. You need to subscribe. Yep. And then you got a chance of winning this yep. because basically we give this away to somebody that watch, likes, and subscribe. Let me yep. repeat that. You got to watch, you got to like, you got to subscribe. And comment. He left one. Oh, yeah, and more. comment. You got to put your dealer name and number or else I don't know who to give it to. Oh, that's true. You know what I mean? Do you need my dealer name and number? No. <laughs> you want to give them yours? No. <laughs> he doesn't have one. We're just kidding. Right. But uh, ultimately, I want to thank the folks at Samsung um, for sending this over. Yeah, this, is a, nice uh, this is a this is a, this is a nice piece. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really cool giveaway. Uh, hopefully, somebody puts it to good use and, and puts it in that Samsung family of products. So again, it does work uh, in great unison when it's all put together. But um, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully, you guys like and subscribe and like and comment, like and like. Subscribe. And Mostly like. keep liking because it helps my ego. Right. You know. Right. Yes. I forgot. Did we check my? Have you told me how good I did today? No. Did we check my hair before we started? Nope. nope. Yeah, after we looks great. He looks great. Okay. My name. All right. Here's this. All right. All right.